Hi everyone. Guess what time it is? Hmm. It's story time. You know what we do at story time, don't you? That's right. I hope you're ready to catch the story bus. I know you all know it, so let everybody join in. It's story time for all of us. Stick out your hand for the story bus. Stop bus! The doors open up. Let's hop inside. Find a seat. Let's take a ride. Start the engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Feel it jump. Oh! And off we go with the bump, bump, bump. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Push the bell for the bus to stop. Ding dong. The doors open up and off we pop. I liked that bus ride. It was pretty good. We've just arrived at a house by the woods. Hmm. I wonder whose house this is. I think this is a story that you guys already know. Let's have a look. I was right, wasn't I? You all know this one. It's the three little pigs. One, two, three. And there's their mummy pig. It looks like she's waving goodbye to them. I wonder where they're off to. Hmm. Shall we find out? Yeah. Let's read the story. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mother in a house in the woods. One day, Mother Pig said, It's time for you to build houses of your own. So, the three little pigs packed their things and set off. Hmm. They can't be that little if they're going to live all by themselves. What kind of houses they're going to build? Do you know? Hmm. Let's find out, shall we? Let's see what happens on the next page. Soon, the first little pig found some straw. I will build my house of straw, he said. And he did. Wow! Look at that straw house. I don't think I could build a house of straw like that. He must be pretty clever. Good job. A little way along, the second little pig found some sticks. I will build my house of sticks, he said. And he did. Wow, that's amazing. He's built a house out of sticks. He's done a pretty good job too, hasn't he? And look, he's neighbours with his little brother pig. How lovely. Shall we see what happens to the third little pig? I wonder what he's going to use to build his house. Do you know? Hmm. Let's find out on the next page. The third little pig had a different plan. I don't want just straw or sticks. I will build my house of bricks, he said. He found what he needed and he began to work. Wow, that must be hard work. I think that those bricks are quite different to straw and sticks. What do you think? Are they light or are they heavy? Hmm. They look pretty heavy to me. <gasps> Someone was watching. Who could it be? <gasps> could it be this one here? Who's he? <gasps> it was, oh no, a big, bad, hungry wolf. <gasps> what do hungry wolves like to eat? I hope it's not teachers or children. <gasps> Maybe it's little pigs. Oh dear, 
let's see what happens next. I hope it's not scary. First, the wolf went to the house of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he said. What do you think that pig's going to say? I know what I'd be saying. No way. No, cried the pig. I will not let you in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house down, snarled the wolf. And he did. <gasps> The first little pig ran as fast as he could to the house of sticks. Soon, the wolf was at the door. Oh no, what do you think he's going to say? Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, he called. No, cried the pigs, we will not let you in, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down, yelled the wolf, and he did. <gasps> the pigs raced to the house of bricks. Just as they slammed the door, they heard the wolf outside. What do you think he's saying? You're right. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in! No, cried the pigs, we will not let you in, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down, roared the wolf. Oh, he looks really angry, can you see? I hope he doesn't get a hold of those poor little piggies. Let's see what happens next. Do you think he's going to be able to blow down that house of bricks? Let's find out. The wolf huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the house down. I wonder why? Hmm. How come he could blow down the house of straw and the house of sticks, but not the house of bricks? Hmm. Have a little think about that. Why not? Why didn't it blow away like the others? Hmm. I wonder if bricks are a little bit stronger. Maybe they are. So he climbed up onto the roof and into the chimney. <gasps> He's going to try to get into the house from through the chimney. Oh dear me, I hope those piggies don't let him get through. Maybe they've got a plan. Shall we see what it is? Let's have a look. Quick, said the pigs, let's make a fire. And they did. Oh, what's going to happen to the wolf when he gets to the bottom? I think he's going to end up with a burned bum. Do you? Ouch! cried the wolf. As the flame touched the tip of his tail, he shot back up the chimney in fright. Oh! <laughs> well, that's what he gets, isn't it? Let's see what happens in the end. The big bad wolf jumped off the roof and he ran away. He never came back. <laughs> and the three little pigs lived happily ever after. Oh, they look so happy. They're so clever. I can see someone who doesn't look very happy though. <laughs> look at Mr. Wolf. Ouch, that tail of his looks really sore. now we're going to have a little look at some pictures. Now these pictures don't have any words 
so I can't tell you what's happening in them, but I want you to look very closely. Some of these pictures show things that happened before the story. That's before the little pigs built their houses. Some of the pictures happened after the story. That's after they beat that big bad wolf and he went running off with a very sore tail. <laughs> I want you to look at each of the pictures and have a little, little think. Hmm, did that happen before or after the story? Let's have a look at the first picture. Good job. Did you spot it? The wolf was at the doctor's and he was holding on to his tail. Hmm. I wonder, did that happen before the story or did that happen after the story? Hmm. Why do you think that it happened before or after? Tell your grown up. I'd love to hear about it. Now have a look at the second picture. Hmm, I wonder what you can see. Do you think that happened before the story or after the story? Hmm. That was a good picture, wasn't it? Did you see that the three little pigs were getting ready to go somewhere it looked like they were packing their bags. Hmm, wonder where they were going. And one of them had a map. Very interesting. Did you think that happened before the story or after the story? I'd love to hear. This picture's my favourite. Can you see they're all dancing around? It looks like they're having a really, really good time. Somebody's looking out of the window with binoculars. Hmm, I wonder what he's looking at. What could it be? I wonder why they're having a party. Hmm, they're definitely celebrating something. What could it be? I'm not sure. What do you think? Did that happen? Before the story or after the story? Tell your grown-up why you think that. That one was an interesting picture. Hmm, it looks like they were shopping for things to build something. Hmm. What could they be building? And another one of the pigs was looking at the estate agents. The estate agents is where you go when you want to buy a house. Hmm. Why was he looking at that? Have a little think about it with your grown up and tell them what you think. Did that happen before the story or after the story? I don't know. What do you think? That was a good one. Did you see the three pigs were sitting on the sofa reading a book? The book was called The Wise Pig's Guide to Wolves by the Three Little Pigs. Hmm, I wonder, do you think that happened? before the story or after the story? Hmm. Hmm. Why do you think that? Tell your grown-up all about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed story time as much as I did. I loved seeing those clever three little pigs doing their house building and running away from that nasty old wolf and it was good to see that he got what was coming to him when he burnt the end of his tail. That's what you get for being a big bad wolf, isn't it? Right, boys and girls, hopefully I'll be able to read a story to you again soon. Bye!